It's Isha from Island Times. Ever since the airing of our teaser, we've been getting a lot of questions. A lot of curious viewers out there want to know, what is this Island Times all about? And we've been receiving a lot of questions. I have some with me here and I'm going to take a look at them today and try to answer as many as I could. So here goes. What is Island Times? Give us a full description. Okay, let's see how best I can answer that. Island Times is a 30-minute show which entails traveling through all the islands of the Caribbean, exploring all aspects of it, from sights to food to fashion to nightlife, just everything that the islands have to offer. Let's see. The next question is, what's the main objective behind the show? Okay, the main objective, in my opinion, is to promote the islands. We have so much to offer, and so we want to get, get that out there. We can't promote the islands enough. And what's even better is, is promoting it through the eyes of an actual island person, someone who lives in the islands, and not from the eyes of someone who's just visiting. Uh, the next question I have, what is your target audience? Uh, what sorts of people are you expecting to watch the show? That's the thing about Island Times. Island Times is for everyone. It, do it doesn't have an age limit. Children can watch it. Elderly people can watch it. Middle-aged people can watch it. It's just an exciting show promoting the islands. Who wouldn't want to see that, right? Uh, so the next question. How did the idea for Island Times come about? <laughs> no, I'm laughing. I'm smiling because there's definitely a story there. Let's see how short I can make the story, but I'm going to be really, really candid. Okay, so one day I was lying in bed. One night I was lying in bed, right? And the idea came to me, you know, what can you do to promote your country? No, I am Grenadian. And so I was like, what about if I do a show, you know, a television show? Now, it was kind of... I didn't know what to really make of it because I'm a radio person, as many may know. So the idea came, I got up, I kind of jotted down what came to mind, and I went back to bed. Months passed, I didn't tell anybody anything about it, right? And then one day, I called my boyfriend, and I said, um, I have an idea for something. Um, tell me what you think. Obviously, because you, you want to hear what somebody else thinks. And I was nervous to tell him because... I had gone to him with several bright ideas already. And so I didn't think he was going to like it. And then he said, when I told him, he was really excited about it and started encouraging me. He said, I think you have something here and I think you should pursue that. And so when he said that, I felt a lot better. I was like, you know, maybe I should pursue it. But um, there are so many things I would need to get a show like that off the ground. So I had the idea there. I, you know, brought the idea to some people. Obviously, I got some, some no's. I got some disappointing um, responses. I didn't let that deter me. Time passed again. And then one day, I went to my doctor. I went to my doctor. And we were just talking about some of my other interests. And I was saying, you know, there's a lot of things I'm interested in other than reading news on the radio. And he was like, things like what? And I started to tell him, I started telling him about Island Times. And he's like, I think Island Times is a brilliant idea. And I think I know somebody who may want to help you with this. And, and I was like, really? And I started getting immediately excited. And so he said, you know what? Draw up a proposal and then get it to me and I'll get it to them. I said, oh, sure. Knowing me, <laughs> I didn't do it. I was taking my final time because I didn't think he was going to go anywhere. And I was like, he called me back and he was like, where's the proposal? And I was like, oh, well, I'm doing it. I'm already doing it. And then I went ahead and started doing it immediately and I got it to him and then he's like, let's go, I'll take you to see the person. And then he brought me down to Lucky Productions and, and they were really excited about it and were ready to go. They said, you have something here and let's see how we can get this going. And then he said, you know, we can get this through the entire Caribbean and I think people will really enjoy looking at a show like that. And the rest is history. We immediately started all organizational we started to organize everything and then we just started and it just was a go. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> so the next question here is, um, what are some of the challenges you face in putting the show together? That's a very good question. And as I mentioned before, I'm a radio personality. I present the news on the radio. So the transition from the radio to the TV is one of my biggest challenges. I had to learn 
all the different aspects of it. I had to learn that doing a television show is not as easy as the people on the TV bring it across. It's really not that easy. I had to learn to smile a lot. I, I, I cannot smile enough. My cameraman always has that problem with me. Smile, Isha, smile. I'm like, but aren't I smiling? He says, no, you're not smiling. <laughs> and I have to like smile and like smile wider and wider. But as time goes by, I get better and better at it. So that's one of my biggest challenges, but I love overcoming challenges. And that's basically the biggest challenge that I have really. Okay, the next question I have here is someone wants to know, such a show must require certain expertise. Tell us about your support group. Well, I am very proud to say that I have one of the best, the most amazing team working with me. They, they love making me look good and they're, they're, they're genuinely on board with it. They're not just doing a job. As I mentioned before, it's Lucky Productions. Now, Lucky Production knows everything. I'm not going to lie. They know everything that looks good and they have an idea as to what the product should be and we work well together in getting it to that. Let's see. Will the show be accessible to people outside of Grenada? Yes, of course it will. Although we are from Grenada, as I mentioned before, it's we're going to take the show through all the different islands of the Caribbean. So most definitely, viewers will be able to see it from around the world because it will be shown on the web as well as the TV. So people in the diaspora will be able to see what Island Times is, what the next show will be about and so on. So it's definitely going to be accessible to viewers around the world. These are all the questions I have here and I hope I answered them to your liking. I tried my best. Um, I'm just gonna say in closing, join me for this journey. I mean, it's promoting Grenada, it's promoting the Caribbean. Who wouldn't want to be on this journey? Join me, let's go around the Caribbean promoting what we have. Let's get what we have out there. Let people come to us and enjoy even more of it. 